Hi guys and welcome to episode 11 of the Road to Glory Weird Showdowns Bundesliga. As you can see we have our first rare gold in the team and that is Boateng, the 83 rated version. And for the first uh, game of today we're going to go for a 50k wager which is for Schweinsteiger. Now that isn't the most expensive wager, the most expensive wager so far we have done is 75k and that was back when we are getting the Inform Silvers. If you want any ultimate team coins guys make sure you check out battlea.com and use discount code Basin to get 5 cents off your ultimate team coins. And if you need MSP or PSN codes, make sure you check out G2A.com as well. Their link is also there. So, the player we are playing today is Ryan's way back. Now, recently I've had a bit of a rivalry with Ryan. Well, he's basically had a rival with me. He see can't seem to beat me. And obviously, uh, I want Ryan to... Because Ryan's one of my good, good friends on YouTube. And uh, obviously, you want to make people feel better about themselves. And... Uh, that doesn't mean giving games to Ryan, but that means playing Ryan a lot and uh, trying to uh, point out his flaws uh, within the game. But unfortunately, he he went down 1-0, which is a good score, to be honest. Uh, he, he did dominate the position and also the play. But unfortunately, he did lose the game and owed us a Schweinsteiger, which we managed to put in the game. Uh, in the team, sorry. So that is a perfect chemistry link with Boateng as well, even though we're always going to get full chemistry when we are using Bundesliga players. Also, guys, if we can try and smash over 3,000 likes for this episode, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, there is one more episode out of this week, and that is tomorrow. So, so far, guys, we are on an eight-game win streak, which is pretty fucking good, considering if you look at the statistics, we've played 30 games and only lost four. Now, uh, for the next wager, we're going to go for 5K, and that is for Rafina, the... Um, non rare right back now the, I didn't really want to go for him because I really do enjoy the likes of Fagner being in the team but Fagner can uh, well he can let me down a, a few points but uh, we do need to get him out of the team to possibly get the team of the year lamb in there few, uh, down the line now in the 15th minute Malapa does manage to get on the score sheet ball bounced out from a Draxler shot and uh, did manage to parry it into his line now this game keeps on going uh, it was a very tight game but I was able to uh, get an early lead and then extend the lead there with Juve getting his head on it and bouncing off the post and uh, making it 2-0 but he wasn't done yet he had a very dangerous team a uh, formation not really used and a brilliant goal there does manage to make it 2-1 and uh, send the shitters up me to be honest because I was definitely going for the win streak this week nothing else was in my mind I just wanted to get this team done and some terrible defending there clearing it off the line straight to the path of his striker making it 2-2 in the 66th minute now near the end of the game Juve running through he had plenty of options slots it through to Perisic and he slots it into the back of the net in the 88th minute to give us the win of the second game of this episode absolutely brilliant so that gives us the upgrade of Rafinha now that we are actually it does look like we're going towards uh, Bayern Munich quite a lot and that is true because probably the best um Bundesliga team by the end of the series will be a Dortmund and uh, Dortmund and Bayern Munich mix. Now, as you can see in the team so far, we do have three uh, Munich players, and that is a sign that we are getting to the close of the end of the series. There's probably another two weeks of it left, I do believe, um, before we start moving on to the expensive players. So, for the next upgrade, we're going to go for is for 5k, and that is for Beneglio. He is the Wolfsburg goalkeeper, and uh, a lot of people said get to Stegen, but I thought I'm going to try this player out, see what he's like. And uh, the team we come against a very nice looking Dutch Brasilva uh, mix, and I know how dangerous the Dutch guys are, especially the uh, left wing and uh, right forward. So, brilliant shot there from Perisic, takes a deflection off the keeper and goes into uh, takes the deflection off one of his defenders goes straight into the back of the net and a brilliant shot there from him does uh, force a save from the keeper and from the resulting corner there is a, a bit of a, a bit of a mess up me bringing the keeper out again headers the ball over but that isn't where the trouble is the trouble is me rushing passing the ball out straight to his striker who slots it into the back of the net taking the score to 1-1 then the game seemed to change. Schweinsteiger breaking through. Great shot. Makes it 2-1 just before half-time. And uh, the game gets from bad to worse for him. Not only did we uh, miss a penalty here off the bat. It bounces uh, straight out. Uh, I think it's Schweinsteiger. It might be even Draxler. Yeah, Schweinsteiger dribbling on through. Letting him slide everywhere. And a brilliant shot there to make it 3-1 just before half-time. And he did not come out of the... Uh, the blocks firing after half time because I found how to take free kicks a brilliant shot there from Draxler hit it low and hard underneath the keeper and it does make it 4-1 now that type of 
free kick, guys, is something very new. And I am going to... Well, it's not very new. It's been in the game since it came out. But that's a free kick. I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot from now on because the success I've had with that style of free kick has been ridiculous. And uh, hopefully, if I can start scoring free kicks, it's going to add extra goals and take me away. So this game hits 6-1 then 7-1 and it continues to get bad from worse for him if you watch the next goal we do score with Verena it is absolutely ridiculous in the 85th minute dribbles on through and then just fucking levers it into the far corner and that easily guys is the best goal we have scored of the road to glory way showdown so far this series 86 minute brilliant long shot and 8-1 victory so that gives us the upgrade of the goalkeeper and sees us go on to the next episode going for some big players. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button, try and hit over 3,000 likes. Subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content. And if you uh, leave a comment in the section below about what players you're looking forward to me getting in this series, let me know and I'll see if I can do them for you. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure you check out Battle for your ultimate team coins. Uh, use discount code Bates and get 5% off. Until tomorrow at 9.30, guys. Thank you very much.